Wow. Look how big it is. Look at my raspberries. <laughs> and I'm companion planting with wine cat mushrooms. The fungal mycelium is growing in the wood chips. And from those white threads of fungal mycelium are arising these garden giants. Aren't they huge? That's a lot of food from one little patch. And I'm going to have tons of it all around the base of my fruit trees and my strawberry patch, my raspberries. I'm even going to plant it amongst some of the annuals I'm growing this year. And see the sun's hitting them and so it's causing the caps to brown instead of that gorgeous burgundy color but they're still great eating That's a lot of mushroom just in that one little piece. Mm -hmm. Try to tug this one out. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, another one came with it. Beautiful. Look at the mycelium hanging out in the base. This is what the mushrooms grew out of was this white thread like mycelium that's decomposing the wood chips so we've got a big white stem nice and beefy we've got that interesting cogwheel skirt this one's showing it really well where the tissue broke away from the cap it was covering these gills that as they mature become a purpley smoky gray and you can also see that veil of tissue that was covering the gills has left a, a ring of kind of like a frilly skirt on the edge of the cap. That's pretty signature too, to identifying the wine cap. So the only other piece you wanted to look for is the color of the cap. And this cap that was not in the sunshine was still a nice deep maroon color. It's looking black. Any idea why? It's the spores, the spores from the gills, because this was sitting underneath this big mushroom here. And so the spores from the underside here were dropping onto the cap 